Hey guys, Peter here, and I've got a quick, I guess you could call it service advisory for the Nikon D750. Recently I've been spending a lot of time doing astrophotography, and the other night I noticed something strange going on in my images. See how there's these yellow and purple, cyan and green stars? Uh, that does not look good. And at first I had thought that I just didn't turn on long exposure noise reduction, these were hot pixels. However, after examining uh, a handful of different tests, I've reached the conclusion that long exposure noise reduction on the D750 is causing this very odd issue. Now to show you another example, this is the same settings but with long exposure noise reduction turned off and all those weird yellow and green and purple stars are for the most part gone. There's still some hot pixels here, however it's much better than the long exposure noise reduction image. Now I'm not quite sure what's going on here. I've actually emailed a couple other uh, astrophotographers. They were stumped and I've reached out to Nikon. Now I have gone in contact with a service rep at Nikon. So as of now, as far as I know, they're talking to the engineers in Japan about this, but hopefully uh, I can release a video here in the near future detailing a fix for this problem. I mean, best case scenario, they'll release a firmware update that fixes this color shift, but realistically, uh, I don't think they're going to do that just because it is such a minor issue and the fact that nobody's apparently reported this until now uh, probably doesn't give them much incentive to spend any time fixing this. However, uh, we can always hope. Now, there is one way to deal with this problem. If you have the Capture NXD software from uh, Nikon, this is their main user interface here. So if I zoom out, this is our same photo with long exposure noise reduction turned on. If I go to my noise reduction tab here, there's an Astro Noise Reduction button here. So if I zoom back in again, all I have to do is check this box and it automatically does a pretty good job of removing the color shift. It's not perfect, there's still quite a few problems, but overall uh, it does a really nice job. My main concern though is that, you know, most photographers, including myself, don't use the Capture NXD software and it's really not very compatible with your standard Lightroom or Camera Raw and Photoshop editing workflow. So this is kind of uh, a very rough fix and uh, I mean obviously we can make it work but it'd be nice if there was another way to do this. Also if you notice you have hot pixels in your image the Astro Noise Reduction does a great job at removing those as well and frankly this is the best tool that I've seen so far at removing hot pixels in starry skies like this. So uh, if you don't mind changing up your workflow a little bit, you can always give the Capture NXD a try and see how you like it. As you can see, it does a really amazing job at removing hot pixels as well as that weird color shift using long exposure noise reduction. One last thing we can try is if I go to uh, my original images here, I'm going to open up one of these in Camera Raw and we'll see if there's an easy way to fix the problem, although uh, more than likely we're not going to have much success. So if I go to my Detail tab, we've got our Noise Reduction sliders. Luminance is only going to remove grain. It's not going to do much for colors. However, we have the Color slider here, which normally is at 25. If I increase this considerably to about 90, it's really honestly hard to see much of a difference. I'm going to put it back down to 25 and well that's all the way down you can see how awful that looks but 25 versus 80 not much of a difference at all so unfortunately as of now there's not an easy way to fix this in uh, Adobe Camera Raw you can lower the color detail slider and get rid of some of that fringing but uh, that's going to probably cause some problems in our nebula but let's see yeah it's doing an okay job at this point if we lower the color detail, but again, uh, hopefully Nikon will 
ideally release a firmware update for this. And with that all being said, if any of you guys can do some tests on your own Nikon cameras, I've only been able to test this on a Nikon D750. However, if you've got, let's say, the, D the new D850 or one of the older cameras, please uh, go out and take some test images of the night sky and just do a, you know, 20, 30 second photo. The shorter the better, just so we can have round stars and that rules out any motion blur. Or if you have a star tracker, use that. But again, try turning on long exposure noise reduction, turn off long exposure noise reduction, and see what you get. Uh, I'll have my website here in the description, so you can always contact me directly and send me some uh, sample images, and I can forward those along to Nikon, and hopefully together we can get a fix going. But again, as of right now, there is real no actual fix. The best you can do is increase the color slider here and lower the color detail in camera raw, or use the Capture NXD software and use the Astro Noise Reduction feature, which does a pretty good job. As I said earlier, I will keep you guys updated as this progresses. I'm, I'm hoping to hear back from Nikon within a few days, but we'll see. And as soon as I know more, I'll let you guys know.